again, it's Alina Zagitova, who we will watch very closely. And then uh, Marin Honda for Japan. So it's a, it's a group that could be very important. Zagitova, obviously, the crucial one. An interesting Amber Glenn taking the spot of the American ladies following the withdrawal of Gracie Gold, who recently cited some very sad eating disorder problems and anxiety issues which have ruled her out of the Grand Prix this year. It remains to be seen whether or not she can make it in time to compete in the US Nationals, but she will be missed on the Grand Prix. And we wish Amber all the best. Short run up to this, her first Grand Prix. Please welcome skaters. So here they come. Five in this group, six in the second. Zhao Jikan, 19 years old, from Harbin province in China. The Zhangning, 17 years of age, 14th in the World Championships. And there is Amber Glenn, first time for her on the Grand Prix, just 18 years of age. Alina Zagitova from Russia, 15 years of age, the world junior champion. Marin Honda, last year's world junior champion. So it's a, it's a group pack full of promise, if not current form as far as this level is concerned, except for Zagitova, we're not quite sure how good she is, but we hear fantastic things. Yeah, it's gonna, you can't really predict this because some unknown quantities, not insofar as we, we've seen great stuff from many of these ladies on the junior circuit, but we've seen also often that that transition from juniors to seniors is a tough one. And the ladies event is really fascinating at the moment because you seem to have this young batch of up-and-coming wondrous juniors, and then you've got the seasoned veterans who offer something very different. Here's the Chinese champion for the last two years. It's interesting, we were talking earlier on about dance. China doesn't really figure in dance, and they used to in ladies, but not so much now. No, obviously Lu Chen, world champion in 1995, and she was such a wonderful skater herself. It seems to have gone off the ball. It seems that the Chinese are super passionate about the pairs and interesting the the schedule for today at this Grand Prix in China has the pairs last so it's not always the case that the pairs are last of the, the four disciplines but it's obviously the most popular here in China. That is uh, Zagitova. And we saw practice in practice Zagitova doing double axle, triple toe loop, triple loop, triple loop combinations. It's just ridiculous, not even a combination that she can use in this event, just demonstrating her, her skill, intimidating her competitors, perhaps. And there's Amber Glenn, 18 years old, from Texas. Eighth in American National, so it's a quantum leap up this year. Good start, looking yeah, promising. Good triple flip, triple toe with the armor loft in the first jump. And she has to really use this opportunity Nothing spectacular from Ashley Wagner representing the States last week at Skate Canada. Nor from Marin Agassu, from Mariah Bell. So Amber could really make a name for herself. Another look at Zagitova. From the same stable as Medvedeva. And, and they're just a an army of these wonderful Russians taught by a Teddy Duke, but it's in the same stable. Uh, here's another youngster, 16-year-old, Marin Honda from uh, Kyoto. World junior champion last season, well, second last season, the year before, she was the number one junior. She's come straight off the back of Skate Canada, so she's bound to have some jet lag issues, which she'll be working through. Yeah, fifth in Skate Canada. And she won the uh, International Classic in Salt Lake City before that, so this uh, third outing of the year. 
Oh my goodness, triple loop, triple loop, triple loop combination from Zagitova. Wow. <laughs> that is fascinating. She's doing that in the warm up, and yet it's only a two jump combination that is the required element. She's obviously so comfortable with her technique that she can perform combinations that are never seen before. They're looking pretty confident, all of them. Yeah, this should be a good group. And there, Marin Honda, she's becoming quite the crowd favorite, really elegant young lady. Yeah, this very much the future of ladies figure skating here. And we, sorry, someone we saw in practice that Eliza Vett took Kamasheva. She's got the triple axle back, something that she hit used so successfully to secure her world title in 2015 and she hasn't used it since but in practice it was successful here at Cup of China so we'll see if she uses that in the event. Because we're not really seeing any technical advancements from the ladies. Oh, <laughs> she looks a bit special. <laughs> I say that and then she goes and shows me triple flip, triple flip combination. <laughs> And it does look as if she could do it in her sleep. It truly, truly does. It's like she's having a play. Well, it would put the frighteners on any of the second group who are watching, but uh, they won't be watching. Best not. Yes. Why to keep concealed from that? It's a bit intimidating for those alongside, and they're obviously not totally aware of what she's doing, but it puts everything else a little bit in the shade. And it can really affect the psychological preparation for these skaters. It's one thing training a clean program and practice at your home rink, and it's an entirely different vehicle to, or experience to do when you've got your competitors there, and good or bad, the psychology of this sport is, is so fascinating. And it's not often that you've got your greatest skaters being your greatest competitors. We saw that obviously from Patrick Chan, one of our sports greats, but unable to produce in the moment at, at Skate Canada last week. The warm up is now over. Marin Honda finishing her warm up. Zagita looks so composed, apart from so brilliant. This is our first <laughs> Grand Prix senior event. She'll be fourth to go. Zhao and Lee for China, then Amber Glenn for the States, then Zagitova for Russia, and finally Marin Honda for Japan.